All right, this is a Metalhead's Perspective. Um, we're going back to XG. The song is Left Right. Um, I seen Shooting Star. Um, after that one, this was the most requested song. Um, you guys blew up my comments. Um, one person said, Left Right is a R&B modern masterpiece. That is... That is setting the bar pretty high, so I have expectations for this trap. Um, I loved um, uh, Shooting Star. That was a that was a Y two K ride right there. Um, you know the the visuals, the choreography, the the singing, the singing blew me away. Their vocal line is insane. Um, Juria and Chisa absolutely killed that. The ad libs in that song were out of the world. They were phenomenal. They were legit as heck. Um, wild song, very very colorful. Um, I can see you know very nostalgic. Um, had a lot of um, cool elements that you just don't see anymore so it, it hinkered back to like a like i said like a to a 2000s generation where it was very bright vibrant you know and yeah very talented um girls here um i've got a lot of info since then you know um years and years and years of training um based in korea all japanese i think um, some of them might be like Australian or have like some other mix to them, but predominantly Japanese, um, singing in all English, um, not a K-pop group. People made that very clear, global group, um, just because of their, you know, diversity in their all English. Um, still trying to figure out what defines a K-pop, uh artist and what doesn't um because there is other songs that i've checked out that are produced outside of korea um a lot of american producers involved in korean music you know that are even the lyrics a lot of these groups don't write their own lyrics they have outside lyricists that come in and write for them you know that have nothing to do with korea um or have little to do with it or they're not based in korea and um so does that make them a, a global group does that you know how does that work if they're based in korea you know but they're a not a, of korean race you know it, the whole thing is still kind of confusing to me and i've had a lot of people that think they're experts tell me you know different things you know um what makes what's k-pop what's not k-pop it is k-pop it isn't on various different songs you know that so it's it's interesting is it the label you know um i i have no i have no idea um, anyways, it's not that big of a deal. It's just something that I, I still having a little bit of struggle figuring out. You know, I don't. They speak Korean. They speak Korean f fluently, and they've spent a lot of time in Korea. And the fact that they're based out of Korea, you know, is is makes the whole dynamic of this group very interesting to me. Um, I big. I started my YouTube channel on. Japanese music um, uh, and I have a huge love for you know uh, all the Eastern cultures you know Asian cultures and stuff like that so the the diversity is insane to me it's really cool you know I I love K dramas and C dramas it, I I watch I binge watch those um, so you know um what my best friend who i talk to every single day she's in china you know so uh it's just they 
over there, you know, it's it just seems so much cooler, in my opinion. Everything just seems so cool over there. I know there's, you know, setbacks to everything, but that's not, that's not, the, that's a whole different argument. Um, uh, there's a lot of history and all of that, but we're not going to have that discussion in my comment section. Um, it's not who's better or anything like that. But this group, because of that, I've seen a lot of discussion around that, and it's very fascinating to me. Um, and I don't mind having those discussions. That's why I'm bringing it up. Um, if you guys want to uh, talk to me a little bit more in depth about this, my Discord is the perfect place for that. I have a th XG thread just for them, you know, to have these kind of talks and what I should react to next from them. I'm looking forward to their new music. I know they, what, four, five, six, I can't remember how many, not very many songs out. Um, I know they just did a huge successful show um, in Head in the Clouds. So, yeah, I love this group. This is really cool. It's, um, it's legit. Um, so I'm curious to what this sounds like. Like I said, this is going to be, a, somebody said this is an R&B masterpiece. So I will have comments to say about that. Let's get into it. So I'm going to turn the captions off because um, I've been told they're all English. I know that they do some like movie, move and cipher stuff that they kind of bounce back between, th you know, three link Korean, Japanese and English and stuff like that. But you told me all their main title tracks are in English. So let's get it. Got some Space Odyssey, th Star Trek. Who is somebody? What did they say? I pointed out in my last my Shooting Star video that she reminded me of somebody, and oh my God, you guys threw out every single celebrity there is. <laughs> um, I think the first one I said is like a uh, Camilla Cabello. Or whatever, I can see that. But also, she she's got her own distinct look. She is very, very, very beautiful lady. And you guys dumped a bunch of information on Jiren. I'm pretty sure this is Jiren and Chisa. I'll recognize Chisa. That I, this girl. Her vocals killed me that last reaction. Oh my god, Chisa. But Jiren, ex like previous snowboarder, there's like she she does everything. She's like the group leader, you know, and just just a ton of stuff there, so that's really cool. Let's go back. This was really cool already. Nice vibe. Oh yeah, I can hear that R&B cadence here. Then we hit the slide, ready for the swing. We don't want no ops, want no drama queen. Oh, I like her a lot. Everywhere we go, we pull up on the left, right, busting up floor. I'm a one gotcha, with the right, I'm switch lanes like this. Amy? Or a Harvey? Oh, let me look at my... I think Amy's her real name. I think she goes by Harvey, though. Yeah. Oh. Their choreography is sick. How smooth was that? It was so subtle, but I, I they had here, let me let me skip to that part. I wasn't Juria is in the middle here and I, I the choreography is so on point here. Obviously there's they get to shoot multiple shots and 
rehearse all of this during an MV, you know, there's a lot that goes involved in it. You know, they probably had multiple takes here, but it is evident that they are very skilled at what they do. They're very on point, and it's very, it's not loud choreography, it's very subtle, it's very smooth, it goes with the song very smoothly, that's the best way to say it, smooth. I think this is Maya? And you guys told me... So do it till you get right, get it one more. Hinata always has the blonde hair or predominantly has a blonde hair. This is Hinata. Oh, that I know. She's also got a kind of a little lower register there, but she hit a high note. Kakona. I like Kakona a lot. I watched I watched a TikTok. Um, I don't know what I watched of it. it was her rapping and stuff. She is. Oh my god, she is so good at rapping. I I want to hear more from her. I'm gonna I plan on checking out some some cipher stuff and I think there's like some move videos you guys were telling me about. A lot of different content out there. Um, I might even like go through like their TikTok and do like a TikTok compilation video of some of their stuff they got out. Um, but Kakona, she's got a lot of swag and she's the one of the youngest. Very talented for for her age. Yeah, nice cadence. It it like I said it it is so. I don't know how to explain it. A lot of uh, choreography I watch, there's a lot of, like, fast movements. What do they call that? Like, crumping style lyrics. A lot of, like, show-off, visual body, you know, lyrics. Or, I mean, uh, choreography, not lyrics. Choreography in K-pop. And this just seems a little bit more restrained and a lot... Um, God, I'm I'm terrible at just describing what I'm looking at here. Um, it just the subtlety of what they are doing here is very impactful. It's very line driven. I noticed that it um a lot of hand gestures and and movements there you know with some with body roll accents to actually accentuate the music yeah that musicality is perfect god they're Oh, this part. I need to lead right up into the jury, Juria's part here. That was sick. Their their vocal, their their vocal line is insane. Hinata so far with the you know she has that lower register and was managed to hit that high note. We got Chisa, you know her vocals are insane. They they caught me off guard. Um in shooting star and juria even in shooting star her ad libs she was she killed i love ad libs they add they're so impactful in a song and she killed it in shooting star she has such a good voice and and right here again listen to her come in here right here mm. oh it's so smooth this part, what a vibe. Oh, 
Oh. Listen to her. She is so good. I want to catch that again. Listen to her. No, they're so good at that, but... Wow. Sick way to end it, too. Got all the credits here see like here we got Chancellor I've actually heard that name where have I heard that name before like I said there's like producers from all sets of and wall walks of life here Cool. Jacobs. I'm not familiar with some of these names. The Chancellor seems familiar. Somebody might have brought that up. Chisa, Jurin, Hinata, Harvey, Juria, Maya, Kokona. Sit. What a sick group. It's so smooth. I can see why they're so loved and why there's so many dedicated fans like I said the comment section went insane um R&B masterpiece I think we could stamp that I think this will go down as that this is they killed it the looks the visuals the wardrobe changes the choreography the Listen to those voices. You could drop this right off into the 90s and the early 2000s and it would have fit right in with like shit, Aaliyah or something, you know? Probably would have even have been bigger back then. Awesome. Um... I know this is like their their latest song they released along with Shooting Star so I'll have to go back to their some of their older stuff and like I said they got some like um, other stuff they uploaded on their channel along with like their TikToks and stuff like that so I'll probably dive into some of that because um, they don't have a lot of con content out until they, I know they even got like some remixes um, so um, if you guys want to get involved in what I should react to next, go join my Discord. Um, go ahead, go start a, ne a conversation about XG there. I'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Um, yeah. Anyways, have a good one. And uh, they're a global group, so I don't know if K-pop applies, but yeah, stay K-pop.